So uh, when Rod sent me the text about loss, the obvious one for me was just at the beginning of um, being sheltered at home. My dad passed away. And it was an interesting time because we had just started to roll out what people were going to do. And the ambulance had come to his house. And I was driving to my mom's house to take her to the hospital. And the ambulance said that we, um, we couldn't go to the hospital because there was no waiting in any waiting room at this point. And they would call us and let us know what we were going to do next. Well, we didn't know what had happened with my dad. And uh, um, we didn't think much about it besides that it was serious, obviously. And so I was sitting with my mom for about an hour and then um, we got a phone call and it said that uh, my dad had passed away and, and we weren't expecting that to be the outcome whatsoever. They were expecting us to come and tell us where we needed to go to see him and they'd stabilize him because that was the idea we got when the people had left. And so um, we said, well, we'll come down right now. And they said, no, you can't. Um, you'll have to stay there and we'll call you later. And, and we hung up the phone and then immediately had a call back because we didn't even know what to do because not, neither of us were expecting him to be dead and neither of us were expecting that that's what we were going to do that morning. I mean, he'd been up the, next, the day before working in the yard doing, having conversation, normal stuff. And as it's progressed, what, what there is in loss for that, not just of my dad, but the fact that we can't have a funeral service, um, our family can't come in because he'd be quarantined for two weeks in California. Plus there's no funeral service or no gatherings whatsoever. Um, it's been really hard to be able to grieve in ways you normally have, you normally would expect. But what is, uh, what has been interesting is that, uh, my mom and I and my kids and my family have been hanging out and having some really good times that we'd ever really have had. And we're sort of just, uh, spending time together talking about the things that are going on and talking about, of course, my dad and waiting for a time, hoping for the time when we can have a regular funeral service and do the regular stuff you do when it comes to that and move on past the grieving period. But I talk to my sister and my mom and um, uh, on a regular basis, like I never really have. And we found ourselves having to find hope in Christ because we understand that one, obviously he, uh, um, you know, is not here with us. So then he's with him. And that's a, that's a great hope that we all have as Christians, right? And then um, also the fact that um, we can still be there for each other in this time and that we can do, um, we can really think about how we want to put together a service for my dad and think about how we move on and uh, be able to be there and sort of work slowly through the other pieces that sort of hit you after a funeral. Like all the um, putting together paperwork and everything, I can work with my mom together on that. This is not super exciting, but there's a lot of really deep times that we've had in the midst of that. And uh, I think the hope that we've found is that even in the midst of this time when we don't, we're not able to get together and be able to do the normal feeling that you have for, um, for someone like your dad passing away, someone you care about, um, that we're able to help each other in a different way. And we sort of look at it as a unique time that hopefully we'll never be able to repeat in, in a different way of saying goodbye to my dad. Um, and at the same time, hello to what our new life is going to be and what God has us called to do.